Hello everyone, welcome to Novo Creative Tutorials and today we are going to learn how easy it is to create a molecule diagram UI animation for building your organic chemistry library in the After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after we create your composition, let's start building or creating our molecule diagram here. So by creating a shape layer, jump to shape layer and let's rename this to line and content rectangle, delete the stroke and rectangle path. Let's align the size and give it maybe 205. So we have just a nice line here. And so now what we want to do is uh, creating a hexagon and we know the angle between two edges in hexagon is 120 and so to build it we are just going to duplicate this line and rotate it. So we want the animation start from this side to build our hexagon. So to do that, let's move the anchor point off the transform of the whole shape. We have two transform here. We have uh, the anchor, anchor point off the shape layer. It's already in center. We don't need this, but we need the transform and anchor point here. And we're going to move it. Let's move it here, maybe, okay. Okay, we need to move it here. And then, now when we rotate this, you see what's happening. It rotates on the anchor, so 120 or minus 120. And so we have this uh, edge here. Let's duplicate this and hit R. And so before rotate this, it's going to rotate on the other direction. It's fine, but our animation wants to start this way. So uh, click on this uh, line here, move the anchor point to the other side, the same on there in the, the center here, and hit R and add minus 120 and do the same thing to the other ones. Control D, move that up here. Hit R, add minus 120. Control D, move this here. And hit R, minus 120. Move the anchor point here. Add in minus 120. Oh, sorry, need to duplicate it first. Or, okay, we already did, it's fine. Minus 120. And move it here. So, okay, we need to duplicate that. Hit R and add in minus 120. So we have our hexagon here. So create a null and let's move this null here. Hit S for scaling to make it bigger. And Control Alt Home to center the anchor point of that null. Let's make it a little bit big. Okay, and then let's parent all those to it. Let's rename this master lines. So now when we move it, it's move all those lines together. Okay, and so um, what we are going to do here is if you see our example, we have those flickering on each edge. So, to do that, we are going to let's solve this line and hit T for opacity and back to the zero and start 
uh, randomly animating or adding few keyframes for opacity. One frame, zero, one frame, 50, 20, and 160, 100, zero, and 100, 100, another few more, 50, uh, 20, and or 60 there, and then well, let's make it 20 actually, and then 100 and 100. So we have something like this start and then stop so we are going to add expression to this hold alt and click on stopwatch and then go to this arrow here and properties and loop out duration so in this duration let's put there two so every two seconds it's going to repeat or loop in those uh keyframes we have here as you see every two seconds start flickering okay that's look nice let's copy the opacity here and back to zero and select all those lines and hit ctrl v so we have all of our uh, shape flicker now we don't want it to be like this so we are going to offset all these lines so every 10 frames we are going to offset this okay if you don't know how to offset by 10 frames to control and shift and arrow right arrow to move 10 Let's move 10 frames and let's move them all in there. Okay, so let's preview this. So we have something just like this. Okay, so for now, we want to add the inside that we have here. So, how we are going to do that? It's actually pretty easy. Just let's this one and adding this one and this one and control D let's move this up and change the color to something else okay and we are going to actually move them a little bit inside here so for the first one just move it a little bit there. Okay, the same thing for this one. And for this one too. Maybe they are too close. Okay, it's fine. So now create another uh, null object, let's call this master inside lines. We are just going to select these lines and remove the parent from them. And then here, what we're going to do is actually start um, parent those to this null. But before that, let's center our new null as well to the shape and center its anchor point let's maybe put it a little bit around that okay so now we have uh we need to uh, equip this to the master those lines so they are moving and so hit is for scaling and let's animate the keyframe the scale so few frames and let's put it maybe to 100 or even more and then copy that keyframe paste it 
and then back to its position maybe there that's fine let's uh, easy ease those keyframes let's preview this okay we have something like this and so we are going to add the rotation for this hit R for rotation and rotate this as well a few frames maybe the same there maybe 50 and so we're going just to copy the last keyframe on rotation and copy and paste it there and then move to the uh, last one where the scale back to its position so actually we want it to uh, get back like a turn twice and get back to its initial position Well, that's too much actually just one time okay and easy is these keyframes do the same thing here let's preview this okay this is look fine and so we may not want it to be um, like we want it maybe to be all at the same time show up there and just maybe start at the end Okay, so we have our shape now here. And so if we move this, we need this to be moved with this one. So area in place. Okay. So what we're going to do here now is duplicate the whole thing here. Control D, move everything up, move this here. And so now on the rotation for master, master, where is it? The second one, hit R on a 20. You can just put it wherever you want now. So You get the idea what we are doing here. Now we need um, to offset those. And duplicate it again one more time. Move it maybe somewhere here. and let's see where we need to put this we want when these actually this line show up we want this so this is the first uh one that appear so it is in top on its master here or we need to be right there okay so just this one and another and there you go let's preview this and see
okay it look fine so now we need to add uh, the lines that we have here so this is going to actually need just duplicate one of those lines let's duplicate this put it take off parents let's see where is this let's move it we want these to appear here and here are we want to animate the rotation as well so first we need this to be in place here minus 20 move it in place and then let's move this actually here and then put that to zero so Okay, and then get back zero minus three. So, okay, easy is these keyframes. It's just that we want it when it's hit here, it go back like the other opposite direction. So let's preview and see how this looks like. Okay, and just give him some push up here. Okay, that's look cool. And so we are going to duplicate it again and let's see where we want this to appear this now. So we want it to be here maybe. So, it's going to be, I think, right here. So, with this one. Okay, so move this just right there. And let's move this here. Now just uh, select rotation and just rotate until it is in place. No, sorry, it need to be on one of those keyframes here. Let's put it actually so we see. We want it to be here in this position. And this one just need to back to zero. Okay, let's preview this and see. Okay, this is look cool, and now let's add the text. Just adding our text here. Let's name this OH and put the H to subscripts, make it smaller, move it right there. And we want this to appear just right there. Trim this. Uh, text and just let's copy our opacity and paste it here so it's our flickering duplicate this and let's see where to put it okay here and now we can rename this maybe to I don't know N H3 
and let's preview this. Okay, you got the idea. So now you have these elements created. You can just keep duplicating the main elements and just creating complicated things. So like this one here, it's just duplicating, um, duplicating your comp and just, you know, move it where you want things to be and just open it and just you know uh change stuff you want so you have what you really want rename things and you will get a very complicated shapes and organic molecule diagram and to get a really a nice ideas so you can see the structure of the molecule here or if you want to build the real ones you can just uh, get this organic chemistry uh, png and put it in your comp and then just start making something look exactly like it and you can add a motion blur for the animation so this was the tutorial of today hope it was very useful for you guys and if you like my tutorials don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos coming soon thank you for watching